Okay, how are you guys doing today? This is the Ogre from MattOgre.com and WeTheArmed.com and I'm out here at the Buckskin Hills Range. Beautiful, cold, frigid, frosty, cold as a witch's tit day. Out there at my uh, 100 yard range. I'm out here with the Charles Daly Defense uh, AR-15, the CDD-15 uh, M4 configuration. And uh, let's go over the, some of the features. Fantastic weapon. It has proven itself to me. I didn't think I was going to like it, but it did it. Charles Daly Defense AR-15. It's got some of the same markings here. I don't know if you can see that little line. And if you can see little squares, just like on a rock river. This is making me think that the Charles Daly is getting their parts from the same joint that's making the parts for the uh, rock river. I don't know. I, I'm not sure where that is, but uh, they look the same. I've put a thousand rounds to this weapon, give or take 20, plus or minus 20 rounds. And uh, the accuracy has been uh, uh, absolutely impressive. From a sandbag position here, you can see I'm using these uh, uh, TNJ sandbags. This is one shot group. I adjusted the uh, adjusted the rear sight, gave it a few clicks, for another three round shot group. That is three rounds and under an inch, so that qualifies as being sub MOA. And uh, you know I'm not using any Caldwell lead sled or anything like that. I'm not doing any trick shooting. Uh, just simple from the bench firing. Uh, that's fantastic accuracy. I'll take that. Uh, you know, included into that is some human error. The magazines that come with the uh, Charles Daly. It comes with the uh, gray uh, Magpul follower. And uh, throughout the course of this test, this review. Uh, I've been using Magpul P mags, kind of cheating it, maybe. Maybe you might call it cheating. Uh, I just think it's a, a it's a good magazine, so I've been using one of those. Uh, a couple of them actually, but uh, thousand rounds. It's been flawless. Uh, I hate saying that. I was hoping to be able to bag on the Charles Daly, but it's uh, it's proven itself to me. It's proven its worth. If you're looking for an AR-15, the Charles Daly Defense is definitely worth uh, worth checking out. It's uh, uh, made made me uh, eat a little crow here. Uh, I posted on uh, WeTheArm.com that I don't particularly care for Charles Daly stuff. Uh, this one I do. Fantastic rifle. It has been uh, uh, everything you could ever ask for an Air 15 to do. Um, so uh, uh, kudos to uh, uh, Michael Kasnar there at Charles Daly. Uh, kudos to Little Lebowski on WeTheArmed.com uh, for uh, basically putting me up to this. Uh, it's uh, given me a uh, new light on this uh, on this line of weapons. I'm impressed. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go find something warm to drink and uh, uh, get my heater cranked up on my truck and uh, warm up because I am freezing my ass off out here just to go shooting. But... Uh, uh, that's my job. That's what I do. I move on. So, anyway, uh, you guys out there at air15.com, you'll be happy to know that the Charles Daly uh, is, a, is a good rifle. Those at uh, wethearm.com, uh, who uh, have been kind of following this review process uh, to its conclusion. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I spent a lot of money on ammo here. I, I'm into this uh, probably what 200 and, uh, 220 bucks or so, whatever my cost is on a on a couple of cases. Let's see, 220. That's one one case. I bought two cases, so uh, 400 and uh, uh, some bucks, not including the magazines, not including gun oil, not including gas out to the range. So I probably spent about 500 bucks. Uh, just conducting this test just so I can say, hey, give some business to Charles Daly. But uh, uh, screw it. It's been fun.
I like shooting. What can I say? And I am so cold I can't even think straight. So I'm going to conclude this. So uh, I'm going to give this rifle a, a, a 9 out of 10. Could have been a little bit better if I had a better trigger pull. But uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 on a gun I didn't uh, think would rate a 3. Pretty good. So uh, peace.